So far in this war, more than 13 million people have been displaced from Ukraine. And as far as civilians who have been killed in this conflict, the UN Human Rights Office has documented nearly 5,600. NBC26's Tyler Drove explains how people in Green Bay are showing their support for Ukrainians. Six months since the Russian invasion and 31 years since gaining independence from Soviet rule. A day with lots of meaning for Ukrainians. The reason why dozens of people in Green Bay are uniting as one for Ukraine. We almost uh, like a family. Organizers say some of the people here at the rally tonight are Ukrainian. Including Yevgen Mielnikov, who gave a speech thanking the United States for its help. It's just unbelievable how much uh, how, how much Americans understand uh, Ukrainians that fighting for, for the freedom. Roughly 40 people showed their solidarity by wearing the colors of the Ukrainian flag, carrying that flag itself. <laughs> Singing the Ukraine national anthem, giving speeches, holding a moment of silence, and forming a chain of unity. We are blessed to have uh, peace, and I think that tells us, um, hey, we, we, can, we can support you in that way. Six months since the invasion. It's tired, but it's not done, and I think we need to understand that. To try to understand people whose last six months have been war. We are Ukrainians here outside of Ukraine, but we are with our Ukraine in our hearts and in our minds. In Green Bay, Tyler Job, NBC 26. And as far as some of the history in the last decade or so, back on February 20th, 2014, Russia invaded and annexed Crimea. Russia also started moving forces into eastern Ukraine around August of that year. The conflict seemed to build for the next seven years following that time until around April of 2021, where reports of Russian troops building up near the border of Ukraine began to surface. And the buildup came to a head when Russia launched a full-out invasion of Ukraine back on February 24th of this year. 